Pipe Network presents The views and opinions of the host and the guests do not reflect the views and opinions of the institutions they belong to. Welcome sa isa na namang kwentuhan at balita ng mga pananaw tungkol sa life and everything that goes with it. Dito sa Kwentuhang Pilosopo with Sir Ice. Layunin ang show na ito na gawing bahagi ng pang-araw-araw na buhay ng karaniwang tao, ang gawain ng pagmumuni at pamimilosopiya. Kaya let's go mga peeps, it's Mooney Mooney time! Alright, pagandang uh, araw mga treaties, mga Pasko Filo peeps. Ito na naman tayo sa panibagong edisyon ng ating bagong-bagong podcast at YouTube channel kung saan pinag-uusapan natin ang iba't ibang paksa mula sa isang philosophical, no, mapagmuning pananaw, no. Ang kausap natin ngayon, no, ay masasabi ko na isa ng uh, legend, no, sa kanyang larangan, no. Uh, a name I guess synonymous with for most of us the PBA, no. Diyan siya talagang uh, nakilala at least ako nung bata ako. Naririnig ko lang yung boses niya kapag ka tumitira yung idol kong si Dawarski. No? Tama niya noon, si na Smoking Joe Cantada. Ewan ko kung nag-abot sila. Pero yun yung mga legends pa noon na yun. No? Ed Dixon, Pinito Henson. At kayo, kasama natin. No? Uh, Masayang-masaya ako na pinaunilakan tayo. Walang iba kundi si Sir Seb Sarmenta. Kamusta Sir? Hi Ice, good to see you. Two years din tayong hindi nagkita. No? At sipin mo, sa so Tuesday, Thursday nating regular na pagbabasketball, ay akalain mo two years ano, na hindi tayo magkikita. Salamat. Buti binanggit ko yung ating uh, TTH basketball uh, friendship games. no? Kasi iba inisip pag filo, filo major, filo teacher. Siguro yun yung mga nagbabasa lang libro, lang life, etc. Mga kapilo peeps, <laughs> meron din po kaming life. <laughs> meron din kaming hobbies at isa sa mga hobbies ko yan, yung uh, sports, no? Particularly basketball and billiards, no? Nung college ako. Kaya nung college ako, nung uh, sir, naalala nyo, di ba? Uh, around 98, 99, 2000, talagang yung billiards sa Pilipinas because of the World Pool Championships, no? Efren, Diyan sa may katipunan, ang amit-aming bilyarang nagbukasan ka. <laughs> so pag free time namin ng mga barkada ko, dyan niyo kami mahanap sa mga bilyaran. No? So anyway, sir, no? siguro uh, bilang unang uh, tanong na gusto nating alaman la sa inyo, siyempre kilala namin kayo bilang mahusay no? with your booming voice no? pagka kayo yung nagko-cover. No? Uh, paano ba kayo napunta sa sports casting? Kaya dyan namin kayo kilala eh. Um, mahabang story pero iiklihan ko lang. Um, nagtrabaho ako sa advertising. Um, nagbo-voice talent na ako. Tapos nagpo-producer ako. Padalas pagka nag edit kami ng mga video o commercial, um, kasabay na PBA. Eh, si Joe Cantada na yung boses noon. Ah, uh, sasabihin sa akin ng mga kasama ko, sige, Seb, 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 lokoy mo yan. I'll, I'll use the word, babuyin mo yan, lokoy mo yan. <laughs> uh, yung boses ni Joe Cantada, dahil kasama ko ang tatay, ang late father ko, nanonood ng fisturama nung araw, na-invite ko yung boses ni Joe na to the point na I can call on it anytime. Diba? Wow. Yung ganda ng language, gamit ng language, ano? Mm. Uh, As Tito Varela enters the court, 10,000 kilowatts wow. of electric power wow. has been added to the ultra. Dr. J, your prognosis. Yung mga ganun yan. <laughs> Lupit! Lupit! Yeah. So, in fact, kahit nung college, sa Ateneo, nagchichirali kami nun. Uh, nagkaroon kami ng two-on to. Ang masaya nun, si yung komedyante si George Sabir, kasama namin nung college. Uy, si George! Uh, So, eh, two on two, ako nag a ng play-by-play. So, joke ang tadang ginagamit kong boss. Going back to the advertising example, um, yun, papatay nila yung sound. Tapos gagawin ko yung, 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 yung pag-a-announce ng basketball, kung ano-anong kalukuhan sinasabi ko. Uh, to the point, may isang director sabi, mag-audition ka nga, puro ka kalukuhan. 
Ah, uh, subukan mo may opening sa vintage. Nag-audition ako. Natanggap ako initially sa TV. Um, although may experience ako sa radio at saka sa commercials, wala sa sportscasting. But eventually they said, sige mag-radio ka muna. Mas, which was the better turn of events because on radio, um, you learn a lot more in terms of being descriptive and being uh, precise. At mm-hmm. nagpa-paint ka ng pictures, hindi nakikita nung na nakikinig sa'yo kung ano yung nangyayari. Ang tiwala na sa'yo, eh. ikaw ang mata. Uh, Tayo nga, nung, uh, yung tagapakinig. Uh, it was great training. And eventually, I moved to TV and then uh, for the last ilang years na ba? 36 years. Yan ang, wow. uh, aside from teaching, of course, yan ang aking uh, pinagkakaabalahan. Wow. So sir, yung, yung sinabi mo nun tungkol sa radyo, parang interesting para sa akin yung pag-isipan na yung kakayahan ng tao gamit lamang yung salita na dalhin yung mga nakikinig dun sa lugar kung saan may nangyayari na parang yung imagination nila no nakikita nila yung mga salitang ginagamit in action di ba totoo yan um, mapalad ako no nakasama ko nung si yung namatay na si Romy Quintanar uh, hmm. isang veterano ng uh, announcer si Bar Samson at yung colleague ko si Ed Pickson mas may experience si Ed sa akin eh um although nakapag um intern ako sa radyo kay Mike Enriquez nung araw I was too young to be able to I was too young to become a DJ not totally ready pag nagkikita nga kami ni Buma ni Mike Enriquez nowadays natatawa kami dun sa turn of event uh, pero ang maganda no gaya nung kay Bar Samson nung galing siya sa Marlboro Tour or sa Tour of Luzon uh, ang isipin mo ang sasabihin mo no? madaling sabihin there are 10,000 people inside the ultra ang uh, natutunan ko kay Bar Samson is to translate it into uh, terms na mas mai lalarawan ng audience sa kanyang imagination o sa kanyang isipan. Halimbawa, pag isipan niyo po ito mga kaibigan, ang ultra ngayon ay parang isang butil ng store candy na pinaliligiran ng langgam. Diba? Wow! Mas, ganda noon. Mas magandang metaphor. Ayon, metaphor na, uy, oo nga. No? So, yun. Uh, kaya kung minsan sa PBA, um, kahit nung walang COVID pa, Paminsan-minsan bumabalik ako sa radyo. Just, uh, to, iba ang call ng action sa radyo compared sa television. Maganda yung sinabi niyo, sir, kasi naisip ko lang, sa larangan ko naman sa pilosopiya, napakahalaga din ng wika, napakahalaga din ng salita, na kung tayo humaharap, kunyari, sa isang karanasan, no, sa pangyayari ng katotohanan, diba, tinatawag na the event of truth, the unfolding of truth, we have to be able to have the ability to articulate no, what is happening in such a way na yung words natin has to be faithful. We have to be faithful to what appears. No? Kumbaga, to let it uh, unfold in such a way na we do justice to what is actually happening. Kaya kung halimbawa, namimilosopia ka rin, hindi, pwedeng, hindi ka nagbabasa eh. Diba? Oh, Kasi, diba? Hmm. Alam mo, yung sinasabi mo presence in the moment, ang magandang naituro sa akin ng radyo is to be exact and to be specific, lalo na pag-injured yung players. Diba? Madaling sabihin, ah, nakahiga si Alvin Patrimonio. Let's say, nagka-crumbs. Ah, nagka-crumbs. Diba? Sa average na Filipino, hindi malinaw na experience yung crumbs. Eh. Nananakit, inihila yung, yung paa mo. So, ang ah, you try to be as descriptive as possible, di ba? Naninigas po ang kanyang um, mga litid. O kaya pag hamstring, natutunan ko sa mga uh, trainer sa PBA, na wala talagang, wala talagang remedy ang hamstring injury. Pag nahatak yung hamstring o yung likod ng iyong hita, walang ibang solusyon diyan kundi pahinga. So uh, when you describe it sa radio, sasabihin mo, tila hinahatak ang hita ni Alvin Patrimonio. So ang... Ang, ang awareness mo, alam mo yung audience mo eh. Yung driver na nag-aantay sa boss niya sa mga hotel, uh, uh, yung security guard na wala pa, wala pa streaming-streaming yun eh. Uh, yung, m- meron akong mga fans nung araw na sumusunod, uh, na sumusulat pa sa akin, ha? nasa laot sila sa sa Taal, uh, may radyo sila. Uh, uh, sila. Uh, wag, nakakagulat ho pag sumisigaw kayo, parang humalalagay kami sa aming bangka. Uh, so yung aking relationship 
yung knowledge na yun, yung awareness ko nung kung sino yung aking listener and viewer has been helpful to through the years. Napakalaga rin no, no? isang isa pang punto na napulot ko sa sinabi niyo sa iyo. Knowing, I guess knowing your audience and knowing who you are speaking to, no? Para yung pika, 'di ba, yung diskurso, kung paano man yung ikilos, kung ano man ang mga salita o tipo ng salitang gagamitin. Merong pagrespeto doon sa kausap. No? May Totoo. pagkilala kung saan nang gagaling yung kausap mo. Hindi ka lang nagdidik ka. Kung mga yung pagpainting nyo no? ng, ng itsura nung nangyayari sa Araneta, kulisi yung kunyari, you're painting it for a particular person. Kung mga custom made. No? Hindi lang siya, ito nakita ko, bahala na kayo kung makita nyo rin ang nakita ko. Kinaalala nyo. Oo, oh, totoo yan. Kasi mahal ang mga mensahe. Ang madalas kasi ay isang nakikinig o ang nanonood, mag-isa lang siya eh. Hmm. Di ba? Although maraming pamilyang Pilipino, nanonood ng laro ng Ginebra, sabay-sabay, nakikisilip sa kapitbahay. Uh, ako, nung araw ng Toyota Crispa, nasira yung TV namin, yung barkada ko sa, sa Santa Cruz, Manila, nanonood, nakikinood ako sa bahay nila para manonood ng Toyota uh, Crispa. Alam mo, yung, yung importansya ng basics ng game, no? kahit pag tayo naglalaro ng Tuesday, Thursday, di ba? hindi mo nahalata. Ano score? Sa akin, sa akin lahat tumitingin. Pati ba naman dito, ako pa mag score di ba? Madalas sabihin. Kasi um, conscious ako kung ano yung score, sino lamang. Tsaka itutuwa ako sa mga kalaro natin, mga fellow workers natin sa Ateneo. Mas marami pa silang alam sa rules kung minsan sa, sa basketball, mm-hmm. di ba? Sila Arwin, sila Joel. Oh. Tawag nga natin kay Arwin, commissioner, eh, di ba? <laughs> Akamiss lang yung, yung pawis ng basketball at saka yung masayang samahan natin pag uh, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Naglo-look forward tayo doon. No? Uh, oh. Mamadali tayong tumatakbo sa court noon pag uh, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Or Thursday. Pero bilang, bilang ganun yan, no? naglalaro rin kayo sa mga you know, laro-laro sa gaya ng atin. No? May napansin ba kayong, um, I would say, difference, no? pagkakaiba ng larong tayo-tayo lang doon sa larong professional? Iba ba galaw, iba ba kilos, iba ba dynamics? Even if we're playing the same game. Basically, it's basketball, right? And we score by putting the ball in the hook, etc. All of these things. We're playing by the same rules, but at the same time, because diba, it takes place in a different context. Correct, correct. So, parang uh, iba? Parang iba, uh, no? Nagkaroon ako, I, especially nung uh, last seven years, Nagkaroon ako ng wonderful opportunity makalaro ang uh, ilan sa mga PBA players na cover ko. Um, mm. Para sagutin ko yung tanong mo niya. Si Coach Ronnie Magsano kasi madalas may pick-up games pagkataas ng practice ng pure food. So sumasama ako. Um, pampapawis lang dito sa May San Juan sa uh, Flying V Arena. Diyan sila nagpa-practice natin. So mm. ano ang mga natutunan ko kakalaro sa Pro 1? Of course, physical. Mas malalaking silang tao. At kahit matanda na sila, hindi nawawala yun. Kasi humingi ng pick sa akin si Alvin Patrimonio. Sumigaw siya. So he said, pick! pick <laughs> Alam mo naman sinong i-screen ko? Si Alvin yeah. Teng. Boom! Si Robocop! <laughs> uh, Rive si Alvin. Paso, sabi niya, matakbo kami pabalik depensa. <laughs> Salamat, Sir Seb. <laughs> Mas pa rin yung bibig ko. Kasi iba pa rin yung 6364 yung body lalo na nung tumanda hindi na hindi na nasusunog the same time tumaba malakas pa rin si Alvin malakas pa rin ta pangalawa uh, the pros play a lot of defense i played with Eric Reyes nagagalit siya in his nice way na hindi ka bumababa eh tayo sa laro natin okay lang hindi bumaba sa defense eh, di ba mas mabilis talaga ang momentum pag opensa kasi eh wala well, dala natin ng bola eh and then the third third one um is they know how to win. Uh, we played an exhibition game. Kakampi ko si Magsano at saka si Jerry Esplano. Hindi na ako sa floor. Alam mo mga mga kalaban ng one point. Saan, nahita ko lang siya yun to. Ha? One point ang lamang. Pinagbigyan na namin. Gusto na namin patalo na para matuwa naman yung mga fans na natalo nila yung PBA. <laughs> Pero narealize ko yung mga PBA players pagdating ng laro. Pag winning time. Nag-design ng play si Jerry Esplano at saka si Ronnie Magsano. Tinira ni Jerry pasok na ako makapaniwala. Yung, yung, yung ability, yung natural kasi they've been do it, doing it all their life. Eh. At saka yung level nila, nag-practice sila ng mataas, nag-coach ng mataas, naglaro internationally. Ah, ang love of the game pareho. 
Yun, labag, yun, yun, yung, yun yung napansin ko, sir. Kahi, uh, uh, at saka hindi yung pagka little boy love of the game. Sumali nga ako ay sa isang liga noong time na naglalaro. Isang liga, ang title is eh, A Life Begins at 50. Lahat kami naglalaro, 50 and above. <laughs> uh, so wala nang tumatakbo. Hindi <laughs> rin naman, hindi na rin ako tumatakbo kahit nala pa ako 50. <laughs> But the joy of the game does not change. And uh, I think uh, if you learn a sport, uh, it will be with you for life. Yeah. Just like riding a bike, di ba? Na parang it stays with you. You don't forget, di ba? Oh, sa pilo di parbo niya. Dami yung uh, mga may hilig uh, sumakay ng bisikleta. Si oh, <laughs> passionate about it. Ako namimiss ko ang pagsasakay ng bisikleta. Parang ayoko na masadsad sa kalye. Ayoko na yung sugat kalye. Uh, oh, mas hirap yung gamutin sa edad ko hindi na, hindi na gagaling na maganda yun <laughs> Sir, siguro um, since pinag-uusapan natin basketball, etc one question that have always intrigued me is the GOAT question hmm. the GOAT greatest of all time no? Sa tingin nyo ba, meron talagang maituturing na basketbolista? Let's say, lagay na natin sa NBA. No? Kasi nakapag-usap na tayo sa PBA. Pag-usapan naman natin NBA. No? Sa tingin nyo ba, meron talagang maituturing na player no? sa NBA mula its conception hanggang ngayon sa era na ito na matatawag greatest of all time. I think <clears throat> being a basketball person yourself, you will understand na very era-centric yung mga discussion na ganyan, di ba? Um, si Bill Russell, ng Boston Celtics, won 11 championships. Sinasabi niya, bakit, bakit, bakit ako wala sa usapan ng um, greatest player? May mga tao naman gustong isali si Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sa usapan. Mm. Pero naman, Simple na lang, tatlo na lang pag-usapan natin si Michael Jordan, si Kobe Bryant, at saka si LeBron James. <clears throat> ako naniniwala, ako personal choice ko ay si Michael Jordan for all the things that he has accomplished. Um, but uh, if others have an opinion about against that, that's fine. The, the whole point of having an opinion in sports is the core of fandom. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's at the core of following K-pop, K-dramas, uh, having an opinion. Kaso lang sa social media ngayon, ang daming henyo, ang daming kontrabida. So, uh, <laughs> daming pandits. Ah, at saka ano, rumble na. Rumble na, di ba? Kung pikon ka, uh, hindi ka sanay na kinokontra yung opinion mo, umalis ka na sa social media. Uh, hindi hindi para sa iyo ang social media. Pero kung encouraging ka, o di, sige, di, tala kayang tayo. Ako, yung GOAT discussion will never be settled. Uh, but uh, each one has his or her opinion. Gaya ko, gaya ko. Hindi ako masyadong fan. Hanga ako kay Kobe at saka kay Lebron. Pero hindi ako die hard fan. In fact, I would even rate Larry Bird higher than than them. Uh, I would, But na-enjoy ko si Magic Johnson. Si Magic Johnson at si Larry Bird nag bubugbuga ng araw. Uh, masarap panoodin. At doon ako natuto ng how to call sports nung era nila. Eh. So napanood ko yung mga games. Na, kasi to learn how to do sports, yung brother-in-law ko no, nagpapadala ng mga videotape ng, ng games. Wala pang ano nun eh. Uh, puro Air Force signal lang yung mga NBA games ng araw. Wala pa yung mga cable-cable na yan. Eh. So, I would watch the tapes, the VHS tapes, playback, rewind, rewind. Pinag-aaralan ko pa paano mag-sportscasting. So, medyo pabura ko doon sa era ng Jordan, Bird, at saka uh, si Magic Johnson. It's all right kung mm. ikaw. Sino ba ang goat para sa'yo? Ako, ano, a- ako kasi actually I, I have nanggaling na rin sa inyo mismo yung ano eh, yung term na na ginagamit ko pag uh, tinatanong ako sino ba yung goat no? ginamit yung term ang ganda yung era centric it's actually a very philosophical idea when you think about it no? na parang kung iisipin natin yung pinaka magaling no ang hirap talaga niyang tukuyin kasi pag sinabi mong pinaka of all time, ibig sabihin, you will cover the entire di ba, history. Hindi lang yung ngayon, eh, yung of all time. Ibig sabihin, what's to come? Hindi ba? Na parang wala nang mas agaling dito. Di ba? Kung sino man ang sumunod kay Lebron, let's say, sabihin ko, para sa akin, 
Lebron kunyari. Kasi tignan mo naman yung points, assists, rebounds, tignan mo naman yung stats, tignan mo naman yung all around, di ba? Quintessential, di ba? Can do everything on the floor, right? Pero who are we to say, di ba? Na wala nang ibang, di ba? Nung panahon ni Jordan, di ba? Sabihin, wala na ito na. We've reached the pinnacle of basketball players. Parang sino paggagaling. Then suddenly we have a debate. Di ba dati, it was beyond debate during Michael Jordan. Then you had Kobe, di ba? Then you had, you know, all those stars in the 90s who were compared to Jordan, di ba? And then now, you have Lebron, you know? So, ibig ko sabihin, ang ganda nung sinabi niyong era-centric when it comes to, you know, making judgments relative to history and time, you know? na mahirap magsalita ng tapos. Kasi bawat yugto ng kasaysayan, nagbibigay siya ng mga kategorya na pwede mo lang sigurong gamitin strictly within the parameters of that era. Di ba? And of course, don't forget, you know, sinabi niyo rin to kanina, no, yung, uh, I would even place Bird over Kobe. No? Kasi diba, na, Magic Johnson, 80s, pinapanood yung mga VHS tapes. When we're talking about You know, who is the greatest, the absolute, etc. Bias always comes into play. Correct. Right? Correct. And bias cannot be separated from one's opinion, from one's view of the world. Andyan niya eh. Kung baga, parang shades yan eh. No? At yun ang suot mo laging shades. Depende kanyari sa, ano yun? Uh, uh, tama ba na kayo ay boomer? <laughs> tama ba yun? Are you a boomer? Kasi ngayon, uh-huh. yung mga tawagan, boomer, 10x, millennial, zenial, no? So, oh, alimbawa, alimbawa, Ice, no? Uh, yes. The endless, the endless discussion about si Robert Jaworski, is he the greatest of all time? Uh, sa Philippine basketball, ang hirap ng discussion. Eh. Pero if there was a player, sa akin, I would rate three players with huge impact on the game and on the audience tatlo. Uh, si Jaworski, si Samboy Lim at saka si Alvin Patrimonio. Yung pagpasok pa lang, hmm. maalog na yung, yung, yung venue and the way they impact the game. Of course, Fernandez uh, and Atoyko and the others were brilliant, but they were on the court longer. Uh, hindi yung gaya ng Jaworski, bigla na lang papasok, magbabago yung, yung mood ng, ng Coliseum. The GOAT discussion is a fan's playground. Uh, it's there, it should never be a violent discussion it should be there you can go statistical you can go impact you can mm. go personal preference oh uh, mm. but you're right about bias kanya kanyang bias well, and, and what i've always felt about bias is that if you do it in the public domain okay fine to be biased but you also have to be fair ako kasi madalas sinasabi journalism should be free from bias that's mm-hmm. very hard to do but I think journalism <laughs> should should be fair yeah. you know, address and all. also I guess self-aware di ba? oh naman diba? oh, self-awareness naman. is key the, you know you you know that you are coming from a particular perspective and this perspective is finite di ba? limited correct ikaw, ma- ikaw mahilig ka rin sa sine halimbawa it's like the endless battle sino magaling si Bilma o si Nora si Susan Ross o si Amalia Puentes di ba uh, that's going to be an endless discussion Godfather 1 yeah. Godfather 2 uh, or may saisay ba yung Godfather 3 uh, maraming pwedeng puntahan ng arguments and, and discussion gaya ang topic ang pinag-aaralan ko ngayon ang nakatutuwa while tayo away from campus, pang paaliw ko lang, is the 70th anniversary na pala ng more ng Casablanca. Pinag-aaralan ko kung wow. bakit, siya, bakit siya napaka, oh, ilang beses ko na. Ang pre-bowed art. Oo, oh, tsaka ano pala, ang dami palang aksidente, tiso, the chamba pala yun, ano, yung movie na yun. Until parang, it was... Actually, movie. parang may nakita ko sa Netflix, sir, uh, tungkol siya sa, I don't know if it's a movie, I think it's a movie about the life of the director of Casablanca. Si Curtis. Yes. Uh, Parang nakita ko siya sa ano recommended list ko. 
Like, oh. Alimbawa, no? yung mga classic lines from you, yung here's looking at you kid, hindi wala sa script yun. Dinagdag lang ni Bogart yun nung tuwing may scene sila ni Ingrid Bergman. Yung ending, I think, Louis, this is the start of a beautiful friendship, was a retake. It's a voiceover. So you see some dulo. Hindi nagsasalita si Bogart on camera. It's just a voiceover because they didn't like mm-hmm. uh, the first ending. So they, they had to revive. It's fascinating. Um, I will argue... Ako, love, I have not seen Citizen Kane. Hindi ko pa napapanood ng Grammy. Ah! Hindi. Kasi ano eh, wala pang opportunity. Palagoy ko na itong ano, magkakaroon. So, yung Godfather, I watch it endlessly. I watch it again recently. One, two, three. And I, gaya nung kaibigan natin si Andrew Tino, colleague natin, hmm. when you get older, you get a better appreciation of the Godfather 3 and why it's closure. And maybe that's the way we also view our basketball. Um, we appreciate certain players now that were older and probably understand the game just okay. a little more. Hindsight is always 20-20. Sir, napunta tayo kanina dun sa ano. Binanggit nyo si Javo. Actually, sa aming pamamahay noong 80s, 90s, Hinebra talaga kami. <laughs> Parang kahit sinong kalaban ng Hinebra, wala kami pakialam. Basta sigawan mga tao, Jaworski! Jaworski, di ba? I can imagine kung kayo yung nasa ultra nung panahon na yon, na field sports na ngayon, di ba? If you were the one covering that, ano yung pakiramdam noon na parang, di ba, isang buong arena sinisigaw isang pangalan. Parang Diyos na halos, di ba? Jaworski. Uh, like for instance, yung 91, no? uh, when they were behind 3-1 in that series against Shell, Uh, sorry ka, wala na ito, hindi manan- kung mananalo ito, 3-2 at least, uh, o 4-2 matatapos ito. Uh, si Ronnie Magsano, pag pinag-uusapan ito, ayaw niya maalala yung masakit na talo yun. Eh. Um, that shot by Rudy Distrito, if you look oh. at it, you, minsan sa isang website, we nos, nag-reminis kami na, and I watched the Jaworski, typical Jaworski, Rudy, this is me, this is you. Rudy, pag libre ka sa'yo, tira mo. Di ba? Which is so Jaworski. And in fact, nung pagkapasa ni Joe, this day it was free. Um, umalog yung ring. Ah. Kita mo, naramdaman mo yung uh, alog ng kolesiyo. Uh, butin lang smart yung partner ko, si Andy House. Sinabi niya, one second to go, may chance pa ang shell mag-inbound. Mm. Kasi nagsisisigaw na ako kasi oh. dramatic eh. Dramatic, di ba? Mali yan. So, since that time, naging conscious ako ilang ang oras lagi. Kahit mukhang buzzer beat. Halimbawa, no, yung, from our Ateneo perspective, if you look at the Jack Chia shot in 2002, oh. <laughs> if you watch it so many times, it's on the buzzer. Huh? It's, it's, it's exacto. Um, saya namin dito sa bahay, nanonood, nagahagis ang kami ng unan. Ano to eh? Uh, if Ateneo wins, maligaya itong bahay ito. Puro Atenis na nakatira rito. Nung natalo tayo noong 2006 and other years, wala depressing yun. <laughs> Bakit, sir, sa tingin mo yung Hinebra anong kapopular sa mga Pilipino? What is it about the, the Hinebra mystique? There are two or three reasons. One is the Jaworski legend. That's obvious. I think nung, remember that game, nung nahiwa siya, tinamaan siya, He came back, and I think that was the birth of the Never Say Die spirit. That Jaworski oh, went... Oh, NSD, uh, NSD. Yeah, do sa Cuneta Astrodome, I think there's a hospital malapit doon uh, along that path. He went there, pinatahihin niya lang sandali, and he went back quickly. Uh, that was an important game. And the Jaworski mystique. Jaworski, dalawa lang yun. Either you like him or you don't. And the people who love Hinebra like Jawor. Second, um... He never did a marvelous job promoting themselves as a team and as a brand pag natatalo sila sa conference. A lot of people don't know this. Pag natanggal sila, na-eliminate sila, medyo hindi maganda yung conference, they would go around the country, nag sila ng basketball, nag sila ng mga, ng mga products, they had the Hinebra Super Angels back then. It was a complete roadshow. Uh, mm-hmm. And... And they created a fandom. And Jawa would go to each and every one of these. And Jaworski's connection with the fans is, I have not seen anything else like it. He will wait. He will sign. Yung asawa ko nga, Chris Pafan, nagpasign yung asawa ko, buong buti, sinulat yung pangalan niya. Pagka nagsasign siya, Bobby Jaworski siya. Uh, yan ang signature niya. He, he's a fan to... to he's a good... Um, he's had his problems in the public domain, pero when he relates to the fans, 
ibang klase. I'll give a qu- quick short story. Um, my brother-in-law is a doctor. Sabi niya, he had a patient back then sa USD hospital na mamamatay. Uh, and the man, old man's dying wish was to see Robert Jaworski. So I had the letter. The old man wrote a letter. I asked the help of the, ang nasirang si Ronnie Nathaniels to talk to Jaworski. We talked to Jaworski and Jawor said, bahala na, sige, tingnan natin. Uh, he never lost that game. And we, we thought that was it, uh, that Jaworski would not go. So Jaworski put on his sweatpants. O pare, si pare yun eh. O pare, kita tayo sa UST. Okay. Um, tumuloy kami sa UST. He visited the old man. And he uh, made, he visited the old man twice. And before that old man died, he would die the happy man seeing Jaworski. I think Jaworski learned a lot from FBJ when he acted in a couple of movies of FPJ. Kasi mm-hmm. na, 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 nakilala ko si FPJ briefly. Nakita ko yung similar characteristics, yung relationship sa fans, uh, yung public image nila. Um, si FPJ would have basketball leagues at Jaworski and some of the other popular guys. Even Freddie Webb would play for the oh, Freddie Webb. Back then. Um, so, uh, the Jaworski mystique is there. It's sad, no? Na sana gumaling. I, I hope it's much oh, better. Oh, Palita ko may sakit. He has this rare disease. Which I... The blood, I think. Oh, grabe, no? Hmm. Well, grabe to the fact that he was still playing at such a high level at 50 plus years old. It's, it's yeah, 53 atas sa, sa huling niyang laro. Okay. Ako naman, sir, sa tingin ko, parang, um, siyempre, trying to look at it from, I guess, a broader, more reflective, okay. philosophical uh, perspective. May, may connection kaya yung, yun nga, yung, sa inyo nang galing, yung never say die attitude na parang meron siyang innate natural resonance dun sa mismong disposition, sa mismong uh, paraan ng pamumuhay ng mga Pilipino. Sa tingin mo? Totoo. Totoo. I think Manny Pacquiao had a Ginebra commercial later on, which I thought the spills were Pinoy na Pinoy at Ginebra ang Ginebra. Hmm. Para gumising uli bukas, para bumangon, eto ang kasama natin, Ginebra San Miguel. Uh, maraming mangingisda, maraming uh, uh, magsasaka to be able to sleep and then to wake up the next day para maiahon yung sakit ng katawan. Ginebra ang katapat at kasama. Eh. Uh, ang San Miguel Beer, mahal sa probinsya. Uh, para mm. tamaan ka, di ba? Ang tagal. Uh, pagka nagkasarapan, eh, kulang ang isang case kuminsan. Pero sa isang bote, isang lapad, masaya ka na. Okay na, pwede na. Pwede na, pwede na At mura ang Ginebra San Miguel. Mm. Um, even before the San Miguel Corporation brought, bought that uh, the La Tundenia, it was really a very popular uh, brand. It is very historical at may connection talaga sa average, sa simpleng buhay ng, ng Pilipino. Yung, yung bukas, gigising ka uli. Uh, sabi nga ng Nes Kape, may tapang ka ba para bukas? Hindi, kung minsan hindi makakukuha ng kape. Uh, kailangan hmm. talaga ipahinga ng, uh, ng Ginebra. Parang may ano rin yung Nes Kape, sir, di ba? Yung parang, para kanino ka gumigising? Totoo. At, at sabi nga naman sa akin ng mga taga Nestle, no? yun ang kanilang campaign. Uh, pagka Nescafe yung pinag-uusapan, tapang ang uh, pinag-uusapan. Halimbawa, pagka Milo naman ang pinag-uusapan, uh, gusto, pinag-uusapan nila champions naman. Champions mm. sa bahay, champions sa pamilya. Uh, ang sports kasi, ang, ang connection niya sa, sa mga ginagawa natin sa buhay related. And, you know, we can go for as far as the Heidelin D has gold medal na So, malita ako, everybody. Mula nang dumating ako galing Tokyo last year, ano, uh, lahat ng sasabi ng panood nila, naiyak daw sila. Lahat naman, kahit kami nung nasa Tokyo, uh, nagdadasal, nag, uh, uh, naiyak na lang kami nung lumabas na yung Philippine flag at saka yung national anthem. Akala ko sa buhay ko hindi ko makikita yun. Resign na ako doon. <laughs> Not in my lifetime. Uh, mm-hmm. diba? hindi ko na maki- na, nakita ko na yan sa basketball. Eh, sa, sa 99, sa Brunei, Darussalam. Uh, mag-isa lang ako nagko-cover noon, yung Philippine team na nalas sa SEA Games. Pero yung Olympic gold medal, laking bagay yun. Ano yun? Ano yun? Lifetime yun. Um, sir, yung, yung sinabi nyo kanina, parang naisip ko rin na siguro yung sports, 
di ba? Isa siyang language din, no? Isa siyang paraan ng yung, yung kilos ng mga atleta, yung attitude, yung disposition, yung endurance, di ba? All of these things, kumbaga, are able to tell a story to the audience, no? Na kahit, di ba, mga atleta naman, kung yung lalaro, di naman sila nagsasalita. Di ba? Di naman nila kinukwento nung nangyayari sa kanila, nung iniisip nila kapag, you know, dinidepensahan sila ng, you know, tatlong tao, etc. Oh, no, no, gagawin ko. Wala naman, no? Parang, so it's just, you know, the audience, di ba, pag nanonood sila, I think may mga pagkakataon na nakikita nila quote-unquote yung sarili nila in that situation metaphorically. Na parang you're pinned in a corner o anong gagawin mo o three seconds na lang o nasa'yo bola. No? It's up to you. What are you going to do? Di ba? Parang siguro merong, may, may resonance on that level. No? Subukan natin to. Um, Nung naging close na ako kay Ronnie Magsano ka sa partner sa broadcast, ang dami kong natutunan sa kanya about the game itself because bu- buong buhay niya doon. For example, ay, si ang three-point shooter namin natin. Ano? Uh, na, na, you notice, that, naalala mo isang laro, hindi ka mag-miss. Kahit oh, ano, tingin ka sa inyo, either pagkakampi kita o kalaban kita, pagka ikaw mainit, kahit si JC Capuno, di ba? Pagka mainit, ah, talagang pasok, 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 pasok. At kahit saan ko ihagi sa'yo, papasok. Kahit si Dave. Si Dave po, eh, di ba? Pag si Dave mainit. Sa dire, corner dire. naman si Dave, sa corner. Oh. So, sabi ko, nararamdaman mo ba yan? Sir, si Sir Larry, ang tao sa akin ni Ronnie. Sir, pag nasukat mo na, huli mo na yan. Pag nas, mga natutunan ko, wow, pag nasukat kaya noon, si Alan kay Dick, yung first few shots, hindi po mapasok. Ah, nasukat niya. Sunod-sunod mo yun. Alam mo ito, Isa, kwento ito. Nagwa-warm up ang greatest. Greatest po si Alan kay Dick noon. Nag-ahagis. Back, shoot back na eh. Uh, biglang sabi ni Alan, mababa yung ring. <laughs> By, hindi, pakiramdam niya, mababa yung ring. Uh, uh, uh. Magpunta rin yung mga officials. Mismo. Two mm-hmm. inches short. Two inches mm-hmm. short. For uh, in language ng athlete, alam nila uh, na gano'n. Halimbawa, no, even matanda na sila, certain moves that they do, hindi na nawawala. I don't know kung inabutan mo si Yoyong Martires, na, siguro as comedian. Oo, na, naabutan ko siya bilang konsel ng Pasig. Pasig. Naglaro, eh, nung bata kami, idol namin niya kasi pass break, mabilis na. Hindi magaling tumira sa labas yan, pero pagtakbuan, hindi ka mananawal. Takbo, 3 on 2. Naglaro kami pick-up game. 3 on 2. Bigla na lang. Hinagis ko sa blind pass sa kaliwa. Nilay up talaga. 60 plus na si Yoyo. Galing pa rin. Hindi na mawala. Tapos ito, si Yoyo Bilami, nakalaro ko ng pick-up game. Ang tanga-tanga ko, nakalimutan ko na dating pro, big man, sila pag rumibound, automatic, pa! Tayo kasi pag rumibound, check. Eh, Bahala na, di ba? Sila pa- Oh, pag rebound niya, nandun yung pangako sa... <laughs> Exacto. Pak! Pak! Aha! Nakalibot ng Bicolano Superman. Mm. And kay Yoyoy, wala yun. It was the language of the game uh, that he was executing regardless of his age. Uh, alam mo, lalo na sila pag umabot sa isang level uh, na which we will never have but we will have as fans, iba yung attitude nila sa laro. Iba yung instinctive moves nila uh, the, even the way they speak even yeah. parang tayo sa edu- sa academia no whether hindi na natin teacher pero naging teacher natin hindi natin sometimes matawag by their first name mm. diba? may mga teacher halimbawa na hindi ko ma- hindi ko pa rin si miss si Ari Ma, yung mga Spanish teacher si Ma'am Chita tagal bago ko natawag na Chita yun eh uh, si Uh, yung ibang teacher, ang tagal. Si Sol Reyes, hindi ko matawag na Sol. Uh, ma'am pa rin talaga yun. So, sila, pag-coach ka, consistent coach, coach pa rin ang tawagan nila. May language sila eh. Uh, hmm. Sila sila nagkakaintindihan. Uh, it's, I guess, each industry, film, sports, may sariling body and is a philo, no? yung the connection between body and the self hmm. um, is expressed through the body. Uh, yes. So, yun. Ganda nun, sir. Yung, yun, yung sinabi niyo tungkol sa filo, yung tinatawag na embodiment yeah. na yung katawan talaga ng tao has a way of communicating, speaking. 
but this body is enworlded. Yung sinasabi, kumikilos sa isang particular na daigdig. Kaya kung saan ka nababad na daigdig, daigdig ng basketball, daigdig ng corporate, daigdig ng akadim, no? daigdig ng bahay, kunyari housewife or house husband ka, it will nest because of the consistency of 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 the experience of being there in the world necessarily the body will have would have acquired certain mannerisms diba certain you know actions ways of doing things na peculiar for that person and for that world kaya minsan hindi naiintindihan ng ibang tao kagaya halimbawa kunyari Kunyari, si yung sinabi niyo si Yoyoy Villamin. No? Tapos kayo, hindi kayo yung nasiko, some outsider. Hindi ka gaya niyo kasi malay kayo dun sa mundo ng basketball bilang broadcaster. Diba? Yung iba, baka personalin yun. Oh. Diba? Pero personalin yun kasi hindi siya bahagi ng mundong yun. Eh. No? At para sa kanya, iba ibig sabihin nun. Aba, nananadya to ah. Nananadya to. Pero kayo, bilang... You know, bahagi ng parehong mundo na yon in your in your different capacities. Yung tinatawag, di ba, yung parang the unsaid, the unspoken. Di ba? Nagkakaintindihan na. Parang exactly. point guard to, di ba? Parang ah. stock on to Malone. Uh, favorite pleasure ko yan. For, stock for on, example, di ba? For example, nung naglalaro tayo sa covered coach, minsan, ewan kung nabutan mo nung natanggal si Eman Monfort sa team, Uh, oh, nakakalaro ko siya. Diba si Eman? Eman na ako, sinlaki ko lang pala si Eman. Diba si Eman, laro na, na, na-realize ko, and ang tagal ko na sa basketball bago ko natutunan, pag nare-rebound ko, si Eman automatic as point, gawa ganun. Ay, umihingi. Binibigay mo na kaagad sa kanya um, para alam mo, uh, alam mo siya na magdadala. Like for instance, sa, sa, sa era ko, no? uh, si Chito Norbasa is a batchmate. Uh, naglaro kami na alumni basketball. Uh, kakampi ko noon, si Chito Norbasa, mm. si Joy Kaplet, si Fritz Gaston. Sila Chito Norbasa, the former coach of Shell. And the former commissioner of the PBA. No? He was ah, a very good basketball player. Si Chante ko yung anak niya, si CJ. Ah, okay. Si Chante ko. Naalala. So, isang Norbasa na kapatid nila ang naging... Ano Tatay ba nila yung judge si Andres yes. Narvaza? Yes. Ah. Exactly. The great the great the great dean and tao yata yung kasi ah. salt and pepper. Si Chito, minsan sa liga na yun, kumata ko, binabitin yung kat. Pare, pag kumat ka pare, tuloy mo. Huwag huwag kang pipigil ng kat kasi pag binigay ko yung bola sa wala ka doon, bakit ka pa nag-cut? Wow. Eh mm. ang maganda doon sa game kasi if you play it. Um is that But you you learn something new that you can bring to your broadcasts later on, mm. and I guess in life also as you experience it. Ito, ito, yung body knowing what to do. Bakit ang Pilipino, laging winawain pag nasa abroad to sit down sa bus, mm. sa mantalang wala tayong fear na naglalakad sa loob ng bus na hawak hawak anything. Bakit? Mm. Kasi sa may tayo sa kahit anong bus na sakyan natin, whether sa city o sa probinsya, umaandar mo yung bus, naglalakad tayo. Eh. Or yung pag bumababa na yun. Sasakay mo pang ano. Kung ipreno, dahan-dahan yung bus, alam mo yung baba mong hindi dapat paharap, kundi paatras. Right. Ako, nung mapasok ako sa Ateneo, 7, 7.30 lagi klase ko, para libre na ako ng hapon. Masakay ako ng jeep hanggang Divis- sa Santa Cruz ako nakatira. Divisoria, tapos Marikina Transit. Master ko yun. Pagdating na Katipunan, bababa ko yung paatras. Yung ganun, mm. ang, notebook nasa, ang notebook nasa bulsa <laughs> nung araw. So the body knows exactly uh, what to do uh, once na sanay na. Kaya nga pag sa abroad, sit down, sit down, uh, uh, sit belt, sit belt, sit belt. Hindi nila maintindihan. Di ba kahit sa aeroplano, hindi nila maintindihan sa Pilipino. At kayang-kaya kasi sanay tayo sa bumaga ng mga jeep at mga bus natin. Eh. Although, siyempre, mas safety conscious sila kaysa sa atin. Bakit kaya, sir? Yeah. Since since we're on that topic na yung yung kilos etc. Um, bakit kaya yung ibang players, let's say basketball or whatever sport, no? boxing, volleyball etc. How are they able to achieve a different level of greatness 
from the others. Apart from, of course, yung ibang bagay hindi na natin pag-uusapan, genetically gifted, etc. Wala na yun. Eh. Oh. Diba? Given na yun, no? Pero, pag inisip mo, diba, pag nanonood tayo ng PBA or NBA, isip mo, magkakasintangkad naman sila. Diba? Magkakasiglaki naman ng katawan. Diba? Pero, what is it about, you know, Lebron, o kung sino pa man, Kobe, etc. That sets them apart. Is it the the mental ano the mental game? Is it the psychological game? Because in terms of athleticism, at but for all intents and purposes, pwede mo sabi na kapaso ka din sa NBA because you've attained a certain level of ba athleticism, strength, ba etc. All of those things. Pero is it about the way they read the vocabulary of the game? Yung sinasabi nilang matas ang basketball IQ? Yes and no. Uh, some are more gifted than others in evaluating uh, the game and the way they play it. For instance, if you compare the great point guards of one generation, Johnny Abarientos, uh, Ronnie Magsano, uh, and Hector Calma. Different levels mm. of, of skill yan. Uh, Magsano is probably the better shooter. The the one who drives to the basket better is Gianni Abariantos. The one who directs plays better is Hector Calma. Si Hector Machagang in-improve yung 15-foot shot niya. Na-improve niya nung nag-NCC siya kasi yung sa sistema ng NCC, kailangan tumira siya pag nalibre siya. Si Magsanok naman ang sabi niya sa akin, Sir, lagi naman akong tumitira ng malayo. Uh, and in that same class, you see a different uh, point guard in Olsen Rosella, who is probably the most driven of all. Chotreya says this story. If I tell Olsen Rosella, for instance, to run into a wall, he's going to run into a wall for me. Because nung naging player niya nung high school si Olsen, almost ikat niya si Olsen. Uh, pero walang player daw siyang nakitang ganun ka-passionate. At si Rara, kahit nung tumanda, kaya nung sa Busan, nung kinocover ko siya, nung na-miss niya yung dalawang pre against Korea, maiyak-iyak talaga ako. Sabi ko, for all the people, nakakainis, natalo tayo sa Korea. Nata- naiinis ako dahil natalo Philippines. We could have been in the gold. But I was it was more painful because it happened to to all sin. No? Um, so, what drives them? There's this book no called Grit. There's this call, this drive. Some are more competitive than others. Michael Jordan was abused, quote unquote, by his elder brother and made him uh-huh. so competitive, di ba? Kobe grew up in in Europe where he's, he learned how to play football and played against taller Europeans. Uh, LeBron comes from a, a background. LeBron is competing against history. Eh. LeBron, mm. diba? LeBron is competing. He is, hindi siya charmer. He's a very good player. Wala namang question. He's a monster physically and skills-wise. But the charm department, Michael yeah. Jordan will always uh, probably end up the winner. And Kobe, be, because of the unfortunate death, the mystique has been established. Uh, LeBron is competing against probably ghosts. Uh, he's probably in a in a position all by himself nowadays. Uh, nobody comes close. But He's now in a team that's messy. I mean, Lakers are um, gulugulo nila. Um, mm. They don't know how to. Hindi sila magkasundo. Ang puro stars yung team nila. Hindi sila magkasundo. Galit na galit nga yung mga sa mga ESPN etc. No, si Charles Barkley. Kaya <laughs> galit siya bakit daw si Missy si si Westbrook at si Frank Vogel. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 <laughs> Napanood ko isang beses. Naalala ko, may sinabi. Ewan ko kung si Michael Jordan yung na... Sa inisip ko, parang maybe this is the key in terms of the mental thing about sports, no? Yung yung may sinabi siya na when you're playing, let the game come to you. Tama ba na si, si Michael Jordan? Parang yung, yung, I think that, that line is attributed to Michael Jordan. Let the game come to you. Parang ang lalim nun. Actually, parang siyang zen. <laughs> yung parang is a very zen, it's a very Phil Jackson thing to say no, for 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 a, an aggressive basketball player like Michael Jordan. <laughs> ano yung interpretasyon nyo doon? No? Yung parang, I think that can be applied hindi lang sa basketball eh, di ba? Yung, to let think, the game come to you. I think it applies sa akin in two aspects. One, in class. 
sometimes we prepare very well and uh, we make a great connection. Now, I see, I'm sure you've seen that moment where the class is quiet and they're hanging on to your every word. And even as you pause, your, your head is going, what is happening? Why mm -hmm. am I making this connection? Why are they all silent? Why are the ball pins not moving? It's a scary situation. But we never enter the class knowing that it's going to be so good. We prepare. Um, but that's where the allow the class comes to you. Because sometimes middays, students are off. Some days, you're off. Um, Doreen Fernandez uh, used to tell me, um, if you teach a bad way, um, just teach again tomorrow. Uh, come back. Do better than the last time. Sa akin sa games, I, I love, especially for foreign coverages, I love huge coliseums and the atmosphere, uh, which I missed in Tokyo because the games were walang tao. No? Uh, I went to one basketball game. Luka Doncic pa nga yun eh, but walang tao. Wow. Lung, <laughs> nga, Luka. Luka. Nakaawa yung Olympics na yun, pero bilib ako sa hapon, they pulled it off. Um, I allow myself to be engulfed by the environment. If it's a... It, so minsan, ano, I prepare something, then I just pray to God and I say, give me something to say. Halimbawa, no? um, my producer will say, Sir Seb, stand by na. Lakad ako ng lakad. So minsan, pag Ateneo Lasal, uh, hindi ko alam kung ano sasabihin ko. Because ang challenge sa akin is to be better than the last time. Uh, ang challenge sa akin, I don't like to use the line, be a better version of yourself. I think it's so abused and used, overused. But I want to be better than the last time. Halimbawa, no? Ateneo Lasal. Uh, I just don't want to say um, it's another exciting ball game. Welcome to season, blah, blah, blah. Um, yun ang ginawa ko yun, sabi ko lang sa director, kunan mo yung Lasal, kunan mo yung Ateneo, kunan mo yung fans, kunan mo yung students. And pictorial essay na lang ako ang ginawa ko. <laughs> Today, two schools who do not like each other meet again. They hate everything about each other. Their academics, their parties, their social life. And now, even in sports, today, Lasal and Ateneo get entangled again for that endless discussion of who is better than the other. But one thing will be known after today, uh, a champion will be declared. Welcome to it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, sabi sa akin mga ibang kasang ko, napaka-poetic. Hindi, ano yun? Uh, letting the game come to you. Hmm. You say, I, I can write that down, but the emotion and the feeling of letting it just you prepare for that moment. Eh. You study, you watch others until that opportunity comes to be able to do your own version. Ako, endlessly watching yung mga magagaling na sportscasters, uh, both in the United States. Ah, of late, ha, kami ni, si Ro, colleague mo, si Roy Palacios, kung lagi namin exchanges about British sportscasters. Kasi, kakatawa mga British sportscaster, iba eh. Iba yung, di ba, sa tennis, sa sabi Oh, Natal with an exquisite chat. Hindi ko gamitin ng American o Filipino uh, sportscaster. Exquisite. Exquisite. Anong exquisite? Di ba? Or lovely, lovely backhand. Hindi uh, natin ko gamitin yung lovely. Ano yung lovely? Kasi di ba very British expression. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Sir, um, ang ganda nung, nung, nung sinabi nyo nung tungkol dun sa, you know, yung you have to be prepared when that moment comes. Diba? Yung, 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 the game has come to you, diba? so to speak. Pero it's a two-way street. No? Um, kailangan nandun yung kahandaan, kailangan nandun yung readiness to deliver. No? And I guess, siguro sa akin, you know, if, I guess when we apply it to life, no? life in general, hindi na lang sa classroom, hindi na lang sa basketball or, or any other profession, but life in general. Yung insight ko dyan, personally, when you say, let the game, whatever that means, the game come to you. Um, two things. No? Una, kailangan mong tanggapin na hindi mo pwedeng tibigta yung layaw mo at yung gusto mo sa mundo. May sarili siyang ritmo. No? May sarili siyang galaw. No? Kung baga sa disco, may tugtog. Pagpasok mo sa disco, hindi naman ikaw yung magpapatugtog eh. Diba? Hindi naman ikaw yung DJ na magsasawa. Pumasok ako, ito patugtugin mo yung paborito kong kanta para makasayaw ako ng bagay doon sa kanta niya. Hindi, pagpasok mo ng disco, kumbaga, nangyayari na. Nag-disco na yung mga tao. Pumutugtog na ang abad, dancing queen, etc. At mag-enjoy ka lang to a certain extent. 
doon sa sa disco, ba, sa buhay, kung matututunan mong unawain na may sarili siyang galaw, may sarili siyang ritmo, at nandun ka muna para makinig and appreciate diba, all these things that are already there, that you can no longer change. Diba? Andiyan na yan eh. You know? Kesa yung magmaktol ka kagad, eh, pangit ng music dito, alis na tayo dito, etc. Hanggang makahanap ka ng gusto mong disco, eh, what are the chances of that? Mauubusan ka ng disco. Diba? Eh, kung, kung ganun ang gusto mo, magpatayo ka na lang sa sarili mong disco. <laughs> diba? Pero ganun eh, ganun ang buhay, no? na parang, may yung yung mundo yung buhay uh, it can be applied to family diba it can be applied to our colleagues in 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 work etc they are separate individual entities from us and they do not and will not necessarily bend to our will no na pomo sa tingin mo ba ako tama diba ako magaling ako dapat masunod no kasi i know how to handle this you know but people can always dissent diba? kumbaga sa basketball hindi ko mo fi- your own fire feeling mo on fire ka hindi ka nang hihingi ng bola hindi pa rin yung guarantee na lahat ng ititira mo ma shoot right meron pa ring something na hindi kayang hawakan something that slips away from your grip And secondly, no, apart from that, na you know you can't really dictate upon the world. Yung sinabi ko na rin kanina, it it letting the game come to you necessitates a certain discipline of openness on your part. No? Na yung sinabi niyo kanina ang ganda, na pag nangyari yung nagkakataon, yung 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 moment mo, so to speak, no? Kasi kung nangyari, di ba? Yung, yung disco example, naghahanap ka ng disco ng gusto mo. Tapos pagpasok mo sakto, yun. Yun yung, di ba? Ayun, nagtagpo. Nagtagpo ang gusto mo at ang mundo. Ang ino-offer ng mundo. You have to be able to deliver. You have to be able to be present in the moment. No? Hindi pwedeng yung frustrations mo from visiting the other discos in the past will spoil this moment for you. Na parang, eh, pagod na ako, wala na ako ng energy. Kanina pa ako naghihintay ng magandang tugtog. Tapos ngayon lang tutubog-tug. No? Kasi, di ba, parang, eh, para saan ka pa? Di ba, para saan ka pa nandyan? No? Ayan na, binibigay na sa'yo. So you have to be able to to bring yourself, di ba, to deliver pag nandyan na, pag binigay na sa'yo yung moment mo. At sa tingin ko, last point na lang, sir, no? Naisip ko lang, ganun si Jordan eh. I think yun yung galing ni Jordan na naalala ko yung series niya with Utah. Ako ay may Utah oh, last year. Di ba? 97, 98, di ba? Last shot, pati nung 97, etc. Yung, yung, yung Jordan, hindi talaga siya, at least yung kilos niya, kumikilos siya ng ayon sa kung ano yung binibigay sa kanya nung laro. At hindi niya basta ini-impose lang yung will niya. Hmm, Kasi may isang game doon, naalala nyo, pwede niyang itira, pinasa niya kay Steve Kerr. Ah. Tapos nakashoot si Steve Kerr. Kaya yung But, time out, diba, sabi, be ready, to double sa akin. Yan. At yun yung moment ni Steve Kerr. Diba? Diba? I, I think, diba? ano, while, while listening to you, I think, What you look for, and I am nowhere near Michael Jordan, but ang gusto ko sa kanya and the great ones that I follow in sports and even the good teachers in our school is the way they look out for those spaces uh, that they can fill up. Um, I think the great ones are able to know when to step back and to allow certain things to happen as you think. Uh, I'll use a, a sports example. Amani Pacquiao fight. I've been fortunate to cover Uh, three of its fights in Las Vegas. Sometimes Manny takes his time. Sinusukat niya yung kalaban. Ang tendency natin as Filipinos, sino natin bugbugin agad ni Manny para tapos na. Sugod niya, sugod. Tapos na kaagad. But the first, only time I saw that Manny do that was in the third Morales fight nung nanalo siya uh, sa Thomas and Max sa uh, Las Vegas. But that fight he had against uh, Mig- uh, Miguel Cotto, uh, hindi si Cotto. Cotto devastated yung Cotto. Yung uh, Antonio Margar- Margarito. Margarito. Matangkad sa kanya. He destroyed that. Um, 
that fight should have been stopped somewhere seventh or eighth round kasi bugbog sa rin din niya yung kalaban. But Pacquiao, he looked for those spaces, not just those physical uh, boxing angles, you know, for those spaces where he could bring the work and bring whatever talent he had. And I guess the lesson in our lives is we look for those spaces, for those opportunities where we can contribute, those opportunities we can be better people to love, for instance. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, those are the interesting challenges we always face. Every day. Yeah, agree, sir. So, you know, and dami pala ng pag natin, parang sports, philosophy, diba? parang anong kinalaman niya sa isa't isa? Yung isa, puro utak ang ginagamit. At least that's how it's caricatured, di ba? Tapos sports, puro naman yan ano eh. Galaw-galaw. Hindi nag-iisip yung mga tao. Parang katawan-katawan. Parang mind, body. Di ba? But dito sa usapan natin, parang ang galing no? na may, parang meron palang paraan kung paano pwede nating makita na yung, yung sports no? in general can be observed, can be examined from a quote-unquote, a more reflective, di ba? more philosophical perspective. Hindi lang yung technical, hindi lang yung stats, diba? hindi lang yung ano naman. Na parang, hindi sinasabi rin pala sa buhay, di ba? Yung, yung sports, no? na pwede natin gamitin batong sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay, sa ating pag-unawa, ano ba dapat natin gawin sa buhay natin. May matututunan pala tayo. Doon lang sa mismong mundong yun. Di ba? Siguro as a last point, no, bago tayo magbakas, mga katripis, pilo, hips. No? Kita nyo naman, ganadong ganado kami sa usapan dahil <laughs> ako bilang uh, sports aficionado myself, kausap ko po. Andun, di ba? In the flesh, witnessing history unfold. Di ba? So, uh, ganyak na ganyak tayo makipag-usap eh. Sir Seb. No? Um, ang ganda nung as a last point, parang may naisip lang ako, and this is from a philosopher who is known, I think, virtually by everyone, si Aristotle. You know, si Aristotle, may sinabi siya about um, human excellence. No? Sabi niya, if you want to be excellent at something, you have to habituate yourself into doing that something no habituation nandoon yung paulit-ulit na pag paggawa ng bagay na yon no? pero yung pagulit-ulit hindi lang siya robotic o mechanical no dapat mayroong gamit na pagmumuni rationalidad pagrarason no? para makukuy mo kung ano yung tamang timpla at ano yung yung tinatawag niya no medyo technical term to mga katripis no doon sa 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 kanyang pilosopiya no yung mesotes no yung, yung golden mean ba siguro kung papasimplihin natin yung yung tamang timpla o yung just right no na minsan may mga bagay na hindi mo naman kailangang masyadong bibuhan di ba kaya nung ginawa ni ni Michael Jordan na pwede namang siya na tumira pero naisip niya hindi ba parang mas tamang diskarte no yan 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 ang galing actually yung 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 uh, konsepto ng diskarte doon sa practical wisdom or prudence so galing yan kay Aristotle eh. and i think the excellence the greatness of certain players i think come from their ability to gauge situations yung kaya nilang bumasa ng sitwasyon at hindi lang nila basta ginagawa yung ginagawa nila. Bago sila kumilos, bago nila ipasa, bago nila itira, bago sila sumuntok, di ba? bago sila pumalo, binabasa muna nila yung sitwasyon. Pero mabilis. No? Kasi nga, pa- paano nila nagagawa yun ng mabilis? Kasi yung pagpapractice. You know? Yung experience, yung pagpapractice na paulit-ulit, yung immersion dun sa mundo, yung immersion sa basketball, sa volleyball, etc. Di ba? Yung sasabihin, well, I've seen this before. Di ba? It's a new situation, but I've seen this before. And so parang matik, kumbaga matik yung katawan natin na pinag-usapan natin kanina, matik yung katawan natin, kayang mag-adapt. You know, in a prudent way. Yung tamang 
ekos lang, kumbaga sa bilyar, no? Tamang ekos lang, no? Hindi sobra, hindi kulang, tamang timpla. So, yung, yung teorya ko, sir, yung magagaling na na basketball players o sports, no? At hindi lang 'yon, ang magaling na tao, no? Ang magaling na tao na kumaharap sa buhay ay yung taong hindi lang sinabi ko nga kanina, ini-impose yung kanyang will dun sa daigdig o sa mundo, no? Kundi yung taong marunong lumugar. Yeah. And yung I guess taong, I will hmm. use parang ending natin, no? Nabanggit mo ang bilyar. I've seen that Classically, kay Efren Bata Reyes. No? I, I love watch nung 90s na nung lalo na nung muusbong siya sa mundo. Tonto ako sa mga analyst na Amerikano. Kung ano anong anal- analysis may Pedro, may gamit pa ng telestrator tapos sabihin dito dadala ni Efren yung bola, ganito, para in preparation sa inyo. Sisirain ni Efren yun. Pero iba pala. <laughs> iba ang gagawin ni Efren. Wasak silang lahat. ba? Diba? <laughs> Hindi nila alam. Tapos si Efren, dahil sabi, alam mo, nasabi sa akin ni, ni, ni Django Bustamante, alam mo sir, pag lumaki ka at natulog ka sa mesa, sanay ka sa pustahan. Pag mula mm. umaga hanggang gabi yan. Kung ba uh, ngayon sir, kung manood uh, ka ng Facebook, uh, nakikipagpustahan pa rin si Everett sa pangga. Sabi niya sa akin, buhay nila yun eh. Uh, that's their life. So, pag natalo sa isang tournament, fine, move on. Alam mo, lahat ng tournament na nangyari sa mundo, may extra tournament yan. Hmm. May, I've heard, uh, I've heard. <laughs> uh, balita ko sa kaklasik kung si Pocho at Resource naman na magaling sa bilya. Sabi niya sa akin, ang bakbaka noon used to be in Makati, uh, either Makati City Square, away from the people and all those international stars that would come here. The real tournament happens from 12 midnight up to 6 in the morning kasi kung minsan yung napanaluna doon sa tournament, ipupusta nila ulit. Uh, so, uh, Efren, with all those smoky joints that he's been through, uh, these Filipino uh, billiards players, they've seen a lot. And when they come to that situation, uh, many things take over. Experience, natural skills. Diba, si Eliza Valdez, na we all know, di ba, Eliza? Kaya niyang basahin yung may natural jump, eh, may natural gift. Eh. Long, uh, mo, kahit mag golf swing si Eliza ngayon. Ang ganda-ganda kasi yung natural athlete. Eh. Uh, pero yung natutunan niya, yung diskarte. Pero si Tai Bundit probably taught her calmness. Uh, yung very zen view of the world. That winning team, uh, two years. Ano? Hindi nila, sila Gretchen and the rest of the Fab Five couldn't win it because they could not move to one step forward. Eh. Uh, so Bundit brought the Ateneo team to that step forward. Eh. Um, Sometimes we need a mentor uh, to bring us to that level. Uh, the nice thing about sports, marami nagsasabi na that it mirrors life. It could be life itself. Uh, um, we're lucky that we are able to follow sports, play in a few of them. Um, maybe not forever, but uh, the fact that we understand these games are blessings that we can always learn from. Ayos! Ah! Ha! Ang galing, ang galing, no? Mga ka Pilo Pips, no? Pasko Pilo Pips diyan, kita niyo naman kapag nagsama ang pilosopiya at karanasan, no? Ibang nabubuong usapan. Um, siguro ito na yung uh, isa sa mga memorable kong naging conversation about sports with anyone. Alam mo ba, ito ang pinakamahaba, itong pinakamahaba natin pagkakataong mag-usap talaga. Yes. Oh, oh, kasi yeah. lagi tayo sa, sa, sa laro diba lang tayo. Basket po lang naman tayo eh. Oh. Ice. Pwesto. Pwesto ice. Pwesto ice. Yeah. Pero yan, yeah, huwag na rin yung perimeter shot ni Sir Seb. Perimeter jumper niya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Um, bago tayo magwakas, gusto ko lang ipaalala no? mga ka-Pilo Pips na i-follow natin ang kwentuhang pilosopo with Sir Ice no? ito sa Facebook, YouTube at Instagram. No? Pinasabi sa akin yung mga producer ko, huwag mo ka rin kalilimut ko sabihin <laughs> kasi nung last welcome. time yata hindi ko sinabi. <laughs> welcome, welcome, so, to welcome, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Kaya ito pala yun, Sir. Okay, so, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat at kita-kita ulit tayo mga pilukips. Bye-bye!
Way to have philosopher with Sir Ice I produce Tina Johan Arceo Joanna Esquivias Ryan Anthony Racela At Cholo Sediare Executive produce Tina GP Abrahano Drean De Ocampo At YB West Bosses sa intro ni Jonah Pakula At special participation ni Rene Liboro Ang kwentuhang filosofo with Sir Ice Ay isang original mula sa Pipe Network